Centipedes are not the cuddliest animals on the planet. With way too many legs, wicked looking carapace, and erratic behavior, these arthropods terrify most people. But is there actually a reason to fear these invertebrates? In today's episode of The Wild Report, we're going to get up close and personal with North Carolina's largest centipede species and learn more about their incredible adaptations and ecological importance. A shy, subterranean predator, the best way to locate a bark centipede is to flip over logs and other debris where they might be hiding. After a few minutes of searching, a glimmer of carapace under one log caught my attention. Now hopefully, you guys can see this right here, a little pile of legs, is actually a really cool centipede. All right, see if we can coax him into the jar so we can get a better look at him. He's thinking about it. He definitely knows the jar is not great. Okay, cool. Wait, flip back over. It's okay. There we go. We got him in the jar. With the subject secured safely, it was time to get hands-on with the Eastern Bark Centipede. This is among the largest centipedes that we have in North Carolina. I believe actually that the Bark Centipede is in fact the largest of our native species. But centipedes are actually really unique animals. Centipedes have venomous claws. They are actually modified legs that they will use to inject venom into their prey item. Now I'm looking at his claws right now and thinking he's thinking about biting me. Thankfully for me, a bite from this centipede species would not be detrimental to my health at all. Um, it is supposed to hurt about like a bee sting would, um, so I'm not very concerned, but that venom is very potent to prey items. The primary prey of a bark centipede here in North Carolina is going to be invertebrates. So you have lots of beetles under these logs, you have lots of um, worms, basically everything under that log, except for the centipede probably, it may be a salamander or two, is going to be eating the log itself as it decomposes, taking nutrients from the decaying wood. This is basically a top predator in the rotting log ecosystem. So he'll be preying on all kinds of invertebrates, anything that he can inject his venom into, he will definitely um, eat, he will definitely consume. Now this is a fully grown adult, I have seen a few individuals a little bigger than him, but I think he's definitely one of the larger ones I've ever seen. Now there's two different uh, color phases of bark centipede in North Carolina. There's red ones, which are actually a lot more common than this gray color that I'm seeing here. He does have quite a few legs. Now he does not have 100 legs. No centipedes have 100 legs. All of them um, have an odd number, but he does have two legs per body section. This one looks to maybe have you know, probably 70 legs or so. He's almost at 100, but he's definitely not surpassed 100 legs. And the other thing you'll notice is that at the front of his body, it removes a little bit, at the front of his body he has these really, really neat feelers. So he has these really cool antennae that he's using to feel his way around my hand. Now those antennae are very useful under the logs where he lives, because it's totally dark. So if he's inside or under a rotten log, eyes or good eyesight is not going to help him hunt. However, those extremely sensitive antennae combined with his ability to detect the chemical traces of his prey makes him a pretty deadly predator in these subterranean ecosystems. Now, as a top predator in these log ecosystems, these bark centipedes are very ecologically important. They're keeping populations of all kinds of invertebrates in check, um, and they themselves are commonly preyed upon by lots of things like birds or salamanders. Some salamanders even specialize in eating centipedes, which is pretty ridiculous. So definitely, these are an important component of the ecosystem. I know lots of people are scared of centipedes, and I'll admit, I'm not the biggest fan of them. They are kind of creepy looking, because with how many sets of legs they have, but there is no reason to be scared of them. I mean, here in North Carolina, this is the biggest they'll ever get. You're never gonna have a centipede bigger than this. And as you can see, he's just chilling on my finger. He's not trying to bite me or anything. All this animal wants is to get put back under the log. They're not aggressive, they're not deadly, so there's no reason to harm bees if you do find them in your house or out in the wild. We're gonna get some macro shots and then we're gonna throw him back under the log. But that is a really cool animal, one that I was not expecting to find today. 
Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed, and learned something new about the Bark Centipede. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel for new, educational wildlife content, coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, please check out my Instagram and Twitter pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.